Hi, I'm Miles Parker with the Eclipse Agent Modeling Platform. And in this screencast, I'm going to talk about uh, the agent modeling platform itself and give an overview of um, kind of the history and, um, and what it has to offer, um, both to people involved in agent modeling and um, uh, all kinds of other things. So first, I just wanted to briefly look at the history of uh, how we got to where we are. There have been a number of agent-based modeling tools over the years, starting with Swarm, which is the uh, echo of, of, of its logo in our, in our logo, Ascape, which I began developing in 1997. Through 2003 or so, it became clear um, to me that although we'd taken a very high-level approach with Ascape, and it was, it was possible to, um, to define a lot of modeling stuff in very very few very little code um, there was an essential limit to the Java API approach and I began looking for model driven approaches and discovered the Eclipse modeling framework and so the first effort was part of Repass Symphony and then um, um, after that I brought out the meta model aspects into meta ABM um, with the idea of being able to target all sorts of uh, agent modeling platforms not just Symphony and then finally, all of this is lit, led into um, the agent modeling platform and into the A-Core meta model, which we'll talk about. So why um, did we do this? Um, well, as with, as with um, in many fields, particularly in science, um, there tend to be sort of two sets of tools. One are proprietary and expensive. Um, think Mathematica, for example. And the other are open source tools that are developed around a particular community. And those can have varying degrees of quality, varying um, um, degrees of cohesiveness of community, and so on. Um, but especially in ABM, there, there's sort of a big gap between these two, um, um, between the proprietary, in this case, any logic is about $15,000 um, a seat. Um, and the open source tools, um, which um, tend to have uh, fairly focused and contained um, user communities, tend to be associated with particular institutions and so on. Um, but what I think we really need to have a tool that um, everyone can contribute to and that, that has the kind of quality and um, an overall use and scope that commercial tools can have um, is an ability to have a, a common infra infrastructure and a common meta model, and we'll look at how that how that comes together. So um, I'm happy to say that uh, that back uh, the process started in 2008, and uh, now um, in late 2009. Um, We've been an Eclipse um, incubation project for uh, about six months now, and we're just getting ready for our Milestone 1 release. And the agent modeling platform has two pieces, as we'll see. It has a modeling framework and then a modeling uh, runtime. So why go to the Eclipse project? Well, um, there's the obvious uh, uh, for those of us familiar with the Eclipse environment, we know how powerful the IDE is, um, and so you could look at it as a software tool. Um, but more important than that is that it's a platform that allow that's very extensible, and so it allows us to do all kinds of different uh, tools and integrate them in a really in a really nice overall uh, uh, package. But even more important than that is Eclipse is a really strong community and, and set of processes. And the most important thing in terms of building a community around agent-based modeling tools um, to get around institutional barriers and stovepiping and so on is that it has an open development process that's, that's, that um, everybody feels that, that, that should allow everybody to um, participate on an equal basis. And so I, I, of all of the different aspects, it's probably the community aspect that's most, um, that's most appealing for, um, for those of us who are um, involved in, in bringing agent modeling tools um, to, a, a, to a broader audience. So as I mentioned, the AMP project um, is an incubation. Um, 
the first milestone should be out this week. Um, as I'm speaking, it's um, it's late November, uh, 2009. Um, we've got pretty decent docs. Um, we've just finished all of the IP, uh, which is um, for those of you familiar with the Eclipse um, IP process, that's a significant milestone. Um, we're hoping to get on the Helios release train, and uh, we're really working hard at um, getting the Acore. Um, um, target um, this new version of the meta model um, out by year's end. But I want to make it really clear that people can use AMP right now. Um, the eScape API is based on Ace the Ascape API, which has been around for 10 years. And so if you write code to that, um, you can be assured that um, all of that will work with future versions of the AMP um, project. Um, and anything that you do with meta ABM models will be automatically converted to ACORE models. So that's all future proof. Um, the AXF and AGF API stuff um, will certainly change, but we're following standard provider packages and so uh, um, patterns and so on. So those changes will you should generally be pretty straightforward and pretty pretty simple to adapt to. No pun intended.